Iron has been known to man for more than 5,000 years, but it's only in the 18th century that scientists make a rapid succession of discoveries concerning previously unknown metals. For instance, in 1751, Swedish scientist Axel Frederick Kronstadt discovers nickel. In 1778, another Swede, Carl Wilhelm Scheele, discovers molybdenum. And in 1797, in France, Nicolas-Louis Vauquelin identifies a new metal he calls chromium. Around 1900, several metallurgists successfully experiment with iron-chromium alloys, and whilst they find them exceptionally corrosion-resistant, they do not fully understand this phenomenon. In 1912, in Germany, Edward Maurer and Benno Strauss are granted the first patent to produce chromium nickel stainless steels. Nowadays, this family of austenitic grades, also called 188, accounts for 60% of the world's stainless steel production. In 1913, in England, the first commercial heat of stainless steel is cast in Sheffield. The person behind this innovation is Harry Brearley. He develops iron-chromium alloys, which are extremely durable. These so-called martensitic stainless steels are soon used in knives, whose blades remain sharp and free of rust. At about the same time in America, Frederick M. Beckett and Christian Danzeisen develop yet another type of stainless steel, ferritics, which accounts for 30% of the world's stainless steel production today. In the years leading up to 1920, within less than a decade, three main branches of the stainless steel family tree, austenitic, martensitic, and ferritic, are all thriving and are still present today in a wide range of applications. Around 1930, metallurgists in Sweden develop a new stainless steel family, combining austenitic and ferritic structures in one alloy to create duplex stainless steel, mainly used at the time in the pulp and paper industry. Today, they are successful in a variety of applications, such as the petrochemical industries and for seawater desalination, where high corrosion resistance and high mechanical strength are demanded. These days, even complete bridge structures are made from duplex stainless steel. Stainless steel brings so many benefits that it has become the normal material in, for example, the interiors of dishwashers, exhaust systems for our cars, or handrails for both indoors and outdoors. All of these products now last much longer than they used to. It is therefore no wonder that between 1970 and 2010, Stainless steel demand increased tenfold, from 3 to 30 million tons a year. Its long-term average growth rate is still as high as 6% per year. Today, stainless steel enables us to make clean water available to arid parts of the world, helps us to produce food for the world's ever-growing population, and makes mass production of pharmaceuticals a reality. Many industries rely on stainless steel for cost-effective volume production. Stainless steel makes many high-quality products affordable and widely available. Stainless steel has a bright future because it is sustainable and if the right grade is selected, it will last for decades. After use, it can be 100% recycled with no loss of quality. In the future, mankind will have to face new challenges and for many of them, we may well look to stainless steel for solutions. Stainless steels enable alternative energy production, playing an essential role in fuel cells, the production of biogas, and the research into nuclear fusion. Only a hundred years after it was invented, stainless steel has become part of our everyday lives. Just imagine what it might make possible in the next hundred years.